I'm Jeff Jarvis, and I have the honor and privilege to speak with all of you during orientation. Welcome to the Newmark J School. Now, here at Newmark, you're going to see that we are a practical school. We're going to teach you many tools and skills and ways to do journalism. So here in orientation, we want to take just a little time to step back and look at the context of journalism, the history and business of journalism, why we do what we do the way we do it, why we're here, how we got here, what needs to be fixed, and how to fix it. And so this is just a brief intro to tell you what's coming. But first, I want to congratulate you on making what I know was a very difficult decision to come to journalism school in this challenged time. I think you made the right decision. I think this is the best time to be in journalism school for a few reasons. First, you are going to learn tremendous resilience. You are going to learn and invent new ways to do reporting on social media, to bring together audio and video on the internet. You're going to leave here able to face challenges that no one has had to face before, and that is going to make you very valuable in a challenged marketplace. Second, the stories we are facing right now are the most profound that I have seen in my own career and my own life. We are seeing nothing less than a reformation brought on by black America and people of color. We are seeing, of course, a pandemic that exposes the historic inequities of this country. We are seeing, I believe, the last stand of the old white man, that is to say, people like me. So we're going to see an unprecedented transfer of privilege and power in this country. Every institution is challenged, including, perhaps especially, journalism. These are the stories you're going to be covering as you learn how to do journalism. But the best reason to do journalism and journalism school right now, I believe, is because you are the ones who are going to revolutionize this field. It is your responsibility, each one of you, to change journalism, to figure out what needs repairing? What's wrong with journalism? Where are the systemic failings of journalism, especially in race and inequity? What should journalism's reparations be? What should be preserved? What should be changed? These are the profound decisions, the profound responsibilities that you are taking on. So congratulations. Now, in your time here, I urge you, of course, to learn what we teach you. But then I urge you to question it. Don't throw it all out, but ask how we got here and why we got here. Why do we do things the way we do? To what end? It's up to you to decide what to preserve, what to discard, what to fix, what to replace. In these discussions, we're going to talk about some of the sacred institutions of journalism, like objectivity, and we're going to question those in the lens, especially now, of inequity. This is why we asked you to read the wonderful essay by Wesley Lowry and the equally wonderful book by Lewis Raven Wallace. In these videos, we're going to start with history. Don't worry. Now, we're going to cover the entire history of printing, media, and journalism over almost 600 years, but I'm going to do it in way less than 60 minutes, and I promise I'll make it as enter entertaining, as fun, as informative as I can. In the next video, we're going to look at the definitions and goals of journalism, because I want you to question and challenge me and to question and challenge yourself and ask why you're here. What do you want to accomplish in school, in your career, and in society? And then we're going to talk about the business of journalism, because I think it's important for journalists to understand how to run this business, how to become leaders in this industry and field, how to become responsible stewards of journalism. And if you want to understand why we do what we do the way we do it, there's probably no better way than to follow the money. Now, then you'll be done with these videos of me, and at last we can come together for discussions online, in which, again, I want you to question and challenge me and yourselves on these questions. Next, you're going to meet community leaders from the South Bronx, where the school owns two newspapers. Joe Hirsch, who heads them, will bring in community leaders. He'll interview them. You'll have the chance to interview them. Now, I recommend that you not presume that you know what their needs and stories are. Listen to hear them tell you, to inspire you, so that you can imagine how journalism can serve their goals. This is the most important lesson you will learn in orientation, and I believe the most important lesson you will learn in journalism school, how to listen.
We think we listen in this field because we go get quotes from people, but we tend to know what the narrative is when we go out. This is an exercise in listening to hear what people's needs are so that you can understand them, empathize with them, reflect them back to make sure you got it right, and then decide how journalism and how you can help them improve their lives and their communities. We're also gonna ask you to do some reporting yourself, of course, and I want you to be able to go online and find people you don't know who are not like you so you can ask them about news. What do they consider news? How do they now get the news they need? What works? What doesn't? And this is all going to feed into the final work you'll do in orientation with me and my colleagues on designing new products and new services to serve those people and those communities. That's how we begin the process of reimagining and rebuilding journalism. So the responsibility is on you, not just to learn journalism as it has been done, but to rethink about what journalism can be. So please watch the next video on history and let the discussion begin.